Hi, I'm John McAuliffe, Chief Marketing Officer of VFM Leonardo, and welcome to the VTV channel. VTV is a weekly series of interviews with industry experts on the latest topics in travel e-business, and specifically online merchandising practices that help hoteliers extract more value out of their online presence. As always, we encourage you to email us at vtv at vfmleonardo.com to suggest topics that we, you would like us to cover in future episodes. Today, I'm joined by Tom O'Rourke, the President and CEO of O'Rourke Hospitality Marketing. O'Rourke is an award-winning hotel marketing firm serving clients worldwide. Tom's expertise is in hospitality marketing and internet marketing strategy with nearly two decades of strategic marketing experience as a successful entrepreneur. O'Rourke Hospitality is a proven expert in ho hotel marketing and provides a complete range of marketing services to global hospitality brands, including Marriott International, Renaissance Hotels, Weingartner & Hammonds, Hilton Hotels, Holiday Inn, and Sawgrass Golf Resort & Spa. Tom, thank you for joining us and welcome to VTV. Uh, thank you, John. I do appreciate the invitation today. Well, we're looking forward to your insights. Uh, and in particular, our topic today is video, what travel shoppers want. Um, certainly video is, is uh, uh, a big topic in the e-business uh, area. And recently I came across a, a study that uh, Google had um, conducted where they asked travel shoppers, at what stage of the travel planning process do you watch video or visit a video site? And they found that across all five stages of the travel planning process, starting from research right through to post-purchase, more than 60% of respondents viewed video at each one of those stages. In your opinion, why is this media so popular? Well, John, I, I think that people connect with, vid with video. Um, they really want to visualize the destination and, and understand their surroundings. And I think that just helps them through the beginning of, of the thought process when planning a trip. And secondly, I think uh, that people just don't have time these days. So the whole idea of taking all that time to read through vast amount of data to, to get up to speed on a destination or, or indeed a property is time consuming. And I, I think that if they go to places like YouTube and within two or three minutes consume all that great content, that it's, it, it's just easier for them. And I, I think finally, one, one, one of the biggest things from my standpoint is, is building trust. I think people really have come to a point where they want to go to YouTube, look at videos that have been produced by past guests or local folks from the, uh, from the destination to understand uh, what, what the, uh, for lack of a better word, the real deal is. I think for a long time, uh, the traditional website design has been centered around producing that great photography and look and feel. And it's not that people distrust that, but they also want to look at, 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 at other video to help them through the process. And I, I really think uh, that's, that's why it's so popular today. Right. So it sounds like when you were chatting about that, um, the different components that you were speaking of, uh, that there's different types of video that uh, hotels can produce. Um, can you give us any insights and, and knowledge as to what types of videos the travel shoppers really want to see when they're researching uh, hotels online? I think that they're, they're looking for two different types of videos. The first one is a professionally shot video, both of the destination and the property. And the second one is more of a, a casual uh, user-generated video. Um, the professional shot one of the destination, I think, helps travelers to understand uh, what's going on in the area in terms of where the museums, where the restaurants, get, get a, a, a real good feel for the, um, not just the exterior of the building or um, a simple shot of a restaurant internally, but really get to understand the neighborhood so they can start aligning what their needs are for the trip with what the destination has to offer. And I think the same pertains to the hotel property. Uh, you just don't want a, a, a flat image of what's going on in different parts. You want to understand a, a, whether it's a virtual walkthrough or it's a, it, it's a flash type video that walks through all areas of the property to understand what the rooms are really like. Understand the, the lobby area, the restaurant area, the dining. If you're a meeting planner, I want to see the, it's one thing putting together a floor plan of what the meeting space is, but show me how it looks, 
how does it look really inside? It's easy to design a, uh, a meeting planning card with all these with all the square footage, but but does it meet the group needs that I'm trying to bring to the property? And I I, I think the 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 other part goes back to the trust uh, that that user or the the past guest or or the person in the area just to to show them what, what, what's really going on. So it sounds like without putting words into your mouth that uh, those two types of, of, uh, of videos, um, the professional one is, is there to inspire the travel shopper and, and, uh, and let them know what that hotel has to offer to them from the hotel's viewpoint, whereas the user-generated content can be used to build or uh, a level of trust or a validation that what the hotel has inspired you with is is in fact real. Is that uh, a good synopsis of that, Tom? That's a really good synopsis, John. I, and I, 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 I thoroughly agree with the validation, and and uh, that's that's genuinely what well, what it's used for. And going back to the professional one, both of the destination of the property, it's that's to to entice the customer. So it's right. almost like the travel shopper today needs to look at both sides. They want to be enticed, but they want to validate. Right. How, how can a how can a hotel go about? Um, uh, you know, certainly they can produce their own videos and and uh, and hire professional um, uh, video production places to to develop a story that entices travel shoppers. Um, but how do they uh, conquer that world of u- u- user generated content uh, and find uh, videos that help validate the story that they're trying to paint in their in their uh, in their own videos. I think this really goes back to thinking about what the travel shopper is going to search on. So let's say, for example, I'm going to Dubai next week and I'm trying to figure out what the great restaurants are in in, in Dubai. And as a hotelier, if I'm out there generating content around that, not really pushing my brand out there, but taking more of a concierge view as to what's going on in the destination and the interesting places to go to dine and eat. And if I start developing video content around that, that when people come to search on great places in Dubai, that that video shows up in the organic search section and that potential guest clicks on the video, likes what they see, and it just so happens that your hotel, for whatever hotel that would be, shows up. Yeah, certainly... um... Uh, generating content has is almost become the new advertising, if you will. Um, it truly has, John. Yeah, and there's a great opportunity for hotels to um, look at content as advertising vehicles to to their um, to their hotels. Uh, if you if I were a hotel and and I needed to um, uh, produce some video, um, what types of things would you recommend? Um, I include or, or not include in that video in order to inspire travel shoppers? I think I would, I, I, I would combine both. I, I, I would take destination and property and combine them mm-hmm. to, to give the overall view of what's going on. Not only because, you know, when I make a decision to go to Austin, Texas, for example, I'm not thinking about the Four Seasons. I'm not thinking about Marriott. I'm not thinking about Renaissance at that point. I'm thinking about the event of why I'm going to Four Seasons. And then I take a step back from that and say, well, based on what my needs are, what type of property would would, would suit my lifestyle? So I think as hoteliers, if we start thinking about um, combining that content so it's, it's, a, it's almost a one-stop view for the travel shopper, you've got a better op- opportunity to, to, to market your property as well as the destination. Tom, thank you very much for your insights on video, what travel shoppers want. Uh, we enjoyed having you on VTV and look forward to having you back. Thank you, John. I do appreciate the time. To all the viewers out there, be sure to post your comments on this episode of VTV and subscribe to our feed to receive more valuable insights from industry experts.